Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is your boy. So let's start our new topic this time around. We have uh, we have already started a, a bonus issue, right issue, and uh, a full market issue, and uh, all the uh, we have uh, done a few examples. Uh, yeah, we have done the practice already. Now we will practice more question with the multiple issues. In this session, I will do some questions with the uh, multiple issues like uh, on the same year or in the different year in the same question we will have a, a bonus issue and right issue all together so you will get more so let's study so when you open the question when another question comes to you just see on the first place like how if is there any bonus issue or is there any right issue because we need to take effect for these two from the very first day so till uh, this question will have two different tax years so this is uh, like two different uh, uh, financial year x6 and x7 it has two different years so this is i'm going to draw a line mm, no i don't uh, no, actually i need a uh, okay let's start on x6 in x6 company were having 8000 shares so in this tax year, uh, in this uh, financial year, in 2000X6, do, you, do we have any right issue or bonus issue? No, we don't. So we can simply do this. We can 31st December X6. So we can simply do, do because we don't need to take a effect from the very first day, we can take a effect from till that um, there is no bonus issue and right issue. So we just calculate the weighted average number of shares how many number of shares well, we were having 8000 shares before so we were having 8000 8, shares so how many months in this year were outstanding so these were outstanding from here till here it means January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September so this year were outstanding for 9 months it mean eight months so because the first september is there so eight months for october till october we need to take effect of two first eight months okay now company were issuing seven thousand shares previously they were having eight thousand now they are issuing seven thousand more it means eight thousand they were having before and seven thousand they are issuing more so they had 8,000 before now they are issuing 7,000 more it means now the company will have 15,000 shares my company has 15,000 shares and how many months it is outstanding let's see let's count till here September till December September October November December four months so take effect to four months we need to take a that effect we need to take effect for four months only so calculate the, how many number of shares weighted every number of share will be 10,333 shares you will have these shares okay and suppose you have a profit for is uh, suppose 50,000 is your profit If you want to calculate the EPS, 50,000 EP, uh, profit divided by number of shares. Profit divided by average number of shares. So it will give you 4.8 uh, EPS is equal to profit divided by weighted average number of shares. Profit is here. 50,000 divided by number of shares, 10,333, which give you 4.84. EPS. This is 2000X6. So at the end of the year, company has 8 plus 7, 15,000 shares. The last year, uh, last year closing balance will be the opening balance for this year. 
okay now company has in this that we have the right issue so we need to calculate the bonus fraction first BAF we need to calculate BAF market price just before right issue divided by theoretical X price okay we will calculate theoretical X price here x right price how we will calculate we need this data now we need this data to calculate this uh, we have 1 for 10 it means whoever has 10 will get 1 for less price shares whoever has 10 will get one share okay what is the price so the share price market price is four dollar and this whoever has 10 shares each year will cost you four you will have forty dollar here total cost forty dollar Now the issue share price is one share you will get less price of three dollar, which means three dollar. So total number of shares is eleven, and total cost is forty three. So if you divide forty three divided by total number of total number of uh, total number of shares, it will give you three point nine one. So put this fraction because this is your theoretical x price put this fraction in this formula put this fraction in this so you will get market prices this is your market price so market price is 4 and now you are getting 3 and uh, x theoretical right price is 3.91 3 so this is your BAF this is your BAF is done Okay, now we will calculate the weighted average number of shares. We will calculate here weighted average number of shares. How we will calculate? Company were having fifteen thousand shares in the in uh, in the beginning. Company has. 15,000 shares and how many uh, we need to take a bonus effect from the very first day write it here which is this sorry take a bonus fraction here so the bonus fraction is 4 divided by 3.91 and how many months it is outstanding so we will see how many months it is outstanding from here to here it means six months so this year we are outstanding for six months plus now uh, the, uh, we need to take a fraction how many is one for ten it means whoever has ten year will get one for free it means point one I told you already just add on one top on top of it 1.1 if you multiply this I will explain it here December X 31st December X 7 for this we calculate here it says 1 for 10 one share if you have 10 already it means 0.1 is your fraction i told you already just add one on top of it it will give you 1.1 so you were having 15,000 share before so you were having 15,000 share before you will get total number of shares 16,500 15,000 multiplied by 1.1 
16,500 if you calculate this way or you can calculate the other way 15,000 you were having share before now you are issuing you are giving one share whoever has 10 so it means you are issuing 1500 more shares so if you add this and this if you add these two will give you 16,500 this is same so this method is quick if you put this here it means you will have 16,500 shares now so this is your number of shares now 16,500 number of shares now do we need to add a, a take effect of bonus or fraction this no we just put, upload the number of shares here and uh, everything will be done so let's go back to the question so how many months these year were outstanding so these year were outstanding 16,500 shares are outstanding from July from here till here so it means from July till December from last six months so take effect of last six months so this way you will calculate your weighted average number of shares your weighted average number of shares will be 15,942 shares okay so if you want to calculate EPS for x7 profit is 50,000 profit was 50,000 divided by number of share was 15,942 50,000 divided by 15,942 is will give you 3 3.14 your EPS now you will see the EPS has been decreased from the last year to not compare because this is not a like with like comparison because last year we issued full market price but this year we should write issue it means uh, we issue the price with the less amount so you can see you have uh, the denominator has been increased I can show you here so the denominator was is increased but the value has been same value was same but here the denominator was not that big so that is why EPS was reduced so last year there was there was no right issue but this year there was a right issue so you cannot compare this year performance with the last year so you need to calculate restated EPS we have already told you just reverse the bonus fraction just reverse this BAF was 4 divided by 3.9 now just did 3.91 divided by 4 just reverse this and multiply this with the last year EPS this was your last year EPS so uh, multiply this with 4.84 will give you this year EPS so 3.91 divided by 4 and this multiplied by last year EPS was 4.84 this multiplied by 4.84 so you will have 4.73 as your restated EPS so now you can see these values are quite similar these values are this is your like with like comparison okay we will practice this is your like with like comparison now you will see these value are same these two values are same so this is the way you calculate your EPS they have a look on all the question the full question if you have any query you can ask me you can contact me we will do more questions